standard play area and this is a classroom and then over here we have the library which is looks like it's shut up right now and in here and there we have um, other classrooms and things like that good yep okay, okay. so would you mind saying who you are <laughs> uh, Melissa Reffenberg preschool special education teacher. Okay. Um, so what inspired you to become a special education teacher? Uh, when I was in high school, my freshman year, I lost my memory. Like, they still don't know why. Um, I missed half a year of school. I was in Salt Lake because I had seizures. Mm -hmm. And when I came back, I had to actually be in a special ed resource room. Okay. Um, to try to help with that, so that kind of inspired me to do it. Okay. Um, let's see. What college did you study at for your degrees, and what are your degrees, and how long did you have to study? I have elementary and special ed degrees. I did those at UGF. I have a master's in educational leadership, which I did. Nice, Christy. I did in um, Haver through MSU Northern, and then I have a degree in Educational Leadership, which I did through MSU Bozeman. Uh, what would you say is the most difficult part of your job? I think <coughs> with the diagnosis of autism becoming more prevalent and just figuring out the behaviors of those yeah. students, like what to do um, to help them be successful in the classroom. So what do you think is like the easiest part, like the part that you like to get out of bed most for? I think, especially at this age, because they're so cuddly, um, and just seeing how excited, because they do love coming to school, so just seeing how excited they are, um, especially when they finally learn something and figure something out. Mm -hmm. so. uh, let's see. What is the most, I mean, I've heard that, did you say that you also work with physical disabilities too? Yes, we can. So what is what is the most, disabili most difficult disabilities that one of your students has had? How did you, how did you meet their needs? Physical disability or just and overall? Any, your hardest, the challenge. I, I would say the kids with autism. Um, and just if they have a lot of behaviors, mm -hmm. um, we have to try so many different things to figure out what will make them do the things we need them to do. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it can just be frustrating or like we have some kids that are violent. Yeah. So having to deal with that um, so that they don't hurt themselves or others. And then uh, in what ways do you find teaching these kids rewarding what is some personal uh, just I kind of already answered that really um, sometimes it takes them longer than other students to mm -hmm. figure something out but once they do just seeing how excited they get mm -hmm. um, seeing how excited the parents get when they learn the new things um, and just seeing how excited they are to come to school and mm -hmm 
sometimes it might be a really simple task that they haven't been able to do for a really long time and when they finally get it that they're able to keep doing that over. Mm -hmm. How long have you been a teacher for? This is my ninth year. Okay, mm -hmm. and then um, what are some warning not warnings, but tips and things that people should think about if they're considering coming into this profession? Uh, know that you're going to have kids with behaviors. I think sometimes people, especially if you choose to do younger kids, they don't always assume that they're mm -hmm. going to have some of the behaviors that our kids do. Um, sometimes parents can be difficult to work with, um, especially if they don't agree with something that you're doing. So trying to work with parents and um, educate them on why you're doing certain mm -hmm. things um, so that you're not frustrated and the parents aren't frustrated, but just really having that um, open relationship with them. Uh, what else? Paperwork. paperwork. There's a lot of paperwork involved. Um, <laughs> It's never ending. I do a lot of that kind of stuff at home. Mm -hmm. So. And do you have kids of your own? I have two. So. Right. I okay. usually do that paperwork when they're in bed. Yeah. <laughs> so. Is it very emotional, emotionally and stressfully demanding? Yes. Is it? Yes. Um, yeah. Especially like uh, one of the students that you observed today, like. I get emotional with that because he gets so frustrated with things and we he can't tell us why. Yeah. So it um, makes me sad sometimes trying to figure out how to make him happy because he can't tell me. Um, or like you just have some kids that come from some pretty rough, difficult home lives. Mm -hmm. So having to see that and wishing you could make, I guess, everything better for them. So. Okay. Well, I think that's it. Well, thanks for coming in. Yeah, thank you.